Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to DIY this vanity mirror for under $150. Here's a list of what you will need. Vanity light bars, LED light bulbs, a square mirror with a frame, black and white copper wire, electrical tape, wire connector caps, wire cutter or strippers, wire strippers, rotary dimmer switch, replacement extension cord, wood screws, a measuring tape, a high speed grinder, which is completely optional and you'll see why later, and a power drill with 1 16th, 1 8th, 3 8 and half inch drill bits. I will also be providing a list of everything with links to where I got it, including specific measurements in the description box below as well. So now let's get started. Before I purchased these vanity bars, I made sure to measure the square frame of the IKEA mirror that I had so that the vanity bars I got would line up perfectly. I'll provide the dimensions below in the description box. I bought one six light bar to go across the top and then two four light bars for the sides. So first I'm taking off the tops of the bars to reveal the wiring plates underneath. To connect these we will have to rewire the corners. To rewire, you will need black and white copper wire. It's important to get different colors to match them with the wires that are already on the vanity bars. You'll need wire caps and electrical tape to cover the connections between wires. And then you'll also need a wire cutter or a wire stripper to cut and expose the copper in the wires. So I'm going to start in the middle section of the top bar and connect those loose wires here. Looking back, I probably could have just connected all of the middle wires to each other, but I researched that it isn't advised to connect more than three wires together at a time, so I would just rather be safe than sorry. Instead, I'm just going to have to rewire the corner wires, and I will show you how to do that. To connect these, you need to expose the copper and match up the wire colors. Connect by twisting the wires together, screwing on the connector cap, and then making sure the cap is tight and can't slide off. To connect the top bar to the sides, I clipped and stripped the wires on both corners of the vanity bars. You will need to grab your copper wire and cut three pieces for each color wire, so black and white. Measure one long piece to connect to both sides and two short pieces to make sure that the farthest wire can reach. These small pieces will ensure that your wires do not risk becoming disconnected and exposing a wire, which can cause sparks and fire. So I'm just repeating these same steps for the black wire as well. 
Off camera, I also stripped these pieces of wires that I cut so that I can connect them. So first, I'm going to attach the small pieces to the farthest wires and place a connector cap on that. Then, taking that new end of the wire, attach it with the long piece as well as the other clipped end of the wire and cap this connection as well. Repeat on both sides and for both the black and white wires. Okay, so now I'm going to show you again on the other side in fast motion, just so you can see how I do it without talking through it. Next, I'm going to close the connection on the two short vanity bars by connecting the exposed middle wires. Now, this next step is the tricky part. We realized that we wanted the extension cord to stick out of the bottom of the vanity bar, so we created a hole in the bottom of the frame. We did this by drilling a pilot hole in the bottom of the right vanity bar using a power drill and a 1 8 inch drill bit followed by a 3 8 inch drill bit to widen the hole. To connect the wall cord and the dimmer switch, you need to measure how long you would like your cord to be and then strip the outer black casing off the part of the extension cord that will be hidden inside the vanity. This will expose three wires, one black wire, one white wire, and one green wire, which is your ground wire. First, I'm attaching the white extension cord to the remaining exposed white wires on the vanity bar. Heavy D up in 
Then I'm going to trim the black wire on the extension cord because that will be connecting to the dimmer switch, which is towards the bottom. The dimmer switch comes with three cords, two black and one green. I'm going to attach one of the black wires on the switch to the black extension cord we just cut. Then I measured out a piece of black wire to attach to the second black cord on the switch and attach the remaining exposed black cords on the vanity bar. Next, trim the green wire, but save the excess. Now attach those three green wires, the one from the cord, one from the dimmer, and then the excess you just cut. And then finally, grab the vanity cover and you should find a ground wire attached to it. Twist this wire and the other end of the excess green wire around the screw that is on the panel and screw it down with a screwdriver or a power drill. This step is going to ground your current. Now that we're done with the hard part, grab your light bulbs. We picked 40 watt LED daylight bulbs and attach them to the panel and test the current. Also, feel each connection and make sure nothing is hot as this could mean the cap is not tight enough. If everything works, take the electrical tape and wrap each connection around the cap and the wires to seal the connection. Leave the connections on the corners for later because we will have to thread the corner wires through pilot holes and then reconnect them. We realized that the edges of the vanity bars were pretty sharp and we didn't want to risk cutting our wires when we put the cover on, so we decided to put holes in each corner of the vanity bars and run the wires through those. This is completely optional, but we wanted to play it safe. To do this, we used a power drill and a 1 8 inch drill bit to drill the pilot hole, followed by a 3 8 inch drill bit to widen the hole. Now to attach the two frames, the light frames and the wood frame, we lined up the vanity bars evenly on the side of the wood frame and marked three spots to drill pilot holes into the metal. For the metal, we used a 1 8 inch drill bit to create these. Then, we used those holes to mark the wood and used a 1 16 inch drill bit to create pilot holes in the wood. Finally, we attach the metal to the wood with number six half inch wood screws. Now bring the wiring panels back to the frame and rewire the corners through the holes that we created in the side. Make sure to test the circuit and then finish taping those connections with electrical tape. Now this part is completely optional, but we wanted to make sure that the panel laid flat above the dimmer switch. So my dad used a high speed grinder to cut the metal panel, but if you don't have one lying around or aren't comfortable using it, you really don't have to. This is just preference. If you choose not to do this, just know that the dimmer switch will cause the back panel to stick out a little bit, but it's really not a huge deal in the long run. Next, we just flipped all the panels over and attached them into place. I 
And yes, I did cut myself, so please make sure to be careful because this metal can be sharp. The last hole we drilled was for the dimmer switch. We wanted to be able to turn it on without having to pull out the whole switch from the back, so we measured where the dimmer would poke through and then drilled the pilot hole with the 1 8 inch drill bit followed by a half inch drill bit to widen the hole. Then we stuck the dimmer stem through and attached the rotary switch onto it. Now for the finishing touches. I'm removing the outer plastic film and placing the light bulb attachments and the light bulbs. Now you have a DIY dimmable vanity mirror for under $150. Like I said before, everything will be linked in the description box below for you guys. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will answer them or I'll ask my dad. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and please make sure to subscribe down below and I will see you guys in my next video.